Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying an algebraic expression. To be specific, a fourth degree expression divided by a fourth degree expression. So hopefully, we can simplify this by using some identities. First of all, we're going to use the binomial theorem. So I'm going to show you two approaches for this problem, or you can call it two methods. And instead of writing the denominator every single time, I'm just going to either call it D or just totally ignore it because I want to simplify the numerator first. So let's start with the first method. So I'm going to start off with x plus y to the fourth power plus x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. Let me go ahead and simplify this first and then I'm going to plug it in and we'll simplify. And we'll do a little bit of cheating, but hopefully that's okay. Now, in order to expand this, uh, I'm going to use the binomial theorem. For those of you who are not familiar, you can look it up. Uh, Wikipedia is a really good page uh, for basic information, but uh, binomial theorem basically tells us how to expand a plus b to the nth power. Uh, binomial comes from the terms a and b, there are two terms. And then this is basically uh, the binomial coefficients or the Pascal's triangle. Lots of cool stuff that you can talk about. But it kind of goes like n choose 0, a to the n, and then n choose 1, a to the power n minus 1 times b to the power 1. The powers of a is going to decrease and the powers of b are going to increase while balancing out at the end. It's going to be concluded with n choose n, b to the n. That's the binomial theorem in short. So now we're going to use that for x plus y to the fourth power. And if you expand 4 choose 0 to the 4 choose 1, you're going to get the following coefficients. 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. Okay? And there's always a symmetry. So let's go ahead and expand this x plus y to the fourth thing. It's going to be x to the fourth plus 4x cubed y plus 6x squared y squared. And notice the symmetry. And in the video that we've done, a, you know, one hour ago, we also talked about something similar without the binomial coefficients. But anyways, that's another story. And then plus y to the fourth power. But notice that I'm adding x to the fourth and y to the fourth. So that kind of brings me an extra x to the fourth and y to the fourth. Let me just write it for now. This is x plus y to the fourth power. And I just added these two terms at the end. All right. So now I'm going to obviously combine x to the fourth plus x to the fourth. That's going to give me 2x to the fourth. And then I'll just continue. 4x cubed y, 6x squared y squared, plus 4xy cubed plus y to the fourth plus y to the fourth is going to give me 2y to the fourth. And this is nice because every term is even, so I can take out 2, just 2, that's it. And then that gives me x to the fourth plus 2x cubed y plus 2x squared y squared, I mean 3. Half of 6 is 3, right? Yep. Plus 2xy cubed plus y to the fourth power. Awesome but not so awesome because we still have the denominator. So how do you do the denominator? Well, you can kind of do the following. You can just go ahead and if you remember the denominator was x squared plus xy, and I can call that d, right? And the numerator is n, hopefully. So my denominator is something squared. So you can use the formula a plus b plus c quantity squared here. Remember, it's a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2 times the quantity ab plus ac plus bc. Sorry about the messy writing. I'm kind of rushing through this. Anyways, let's take a break. Okay, now this is x to the fourth plus x squared y squared plus y to the fourth plus 2 times x cubed y. I'm just going to distribute to 2. 2x two squared y squared and plus 2xy cubed. Awesome. Do you think these look familiar to you somewhat? They should be familiar because <laughs> look at that. The expression inside the parentheses is the exact same thing as the denominator. So let's write the original problem. It was this, right? And that was the denominator. Now let's replace the numerator with n, which is 2 times x to the fourth plus 2x cubed y plus 3x squared y. And some people are like, why are you doing this? Because I just want to show you how that works. At least some people see this, right? Some people need to see this. And the denominator is 
x to the fourth plus x squared y squared plus oops I should probably write the no that's okay um, y to the fourth plus 2x cubed y I didn't arrange the terms but that's okay you'll, you'll figure it out okay so basically what I'm trying to say is these two terms are the same look at this x to the fourth y to the fourth x to the fourth y to the fourth 2x cubed y 2x cubed y 3x squared y squared 3x squared y squared yay I just forgot to combine them my bad and these two are the same so they're the same therefore we can just go ahead and cancel them out that's what I was missing and the answer will be 2 okay so that's my first approach let's go ahead and talk about the second method uh, so we're going to do a little bit of cheating so if you do know if you do know the results of course it's easy to manipulate things so I'm going to go ahead and start with the numerator so that is my numerator we already done that right so my numerator looks like this and this time I'm going to combine the x squared y squared so I get the final result this is my numerator and I have something squared in the denominator so we're gonna this time instead of expanding the denominator that's what we did the first method I'm going to try to factor the numerator which is harder obviously right which is definitely harder but here's the idea if you do know that there's a perfect square at the bottom so you already have an idea so that's the idea I'm gonna use so here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to take out and pretend that I don't know the first method right I'm going to take out one of the x squared y squared and leave the rest with the rest so it's gonna look like this right and um, okay great so I want to put together some terms so that I can easily you know factor them out so I'm gonna take x to the fourth with this and this okay and then I'm going to add to this these two terms not those two these two 2x cubed y plus 2xy cubed and they're symmetrical so it makes sense if they're together right you see the symmetry so the only thing that I have left is this one which is x squared y squared and I'm gonna put that at the end okay now let's see what happens the first three terms gives me x squared plus y squared squared plus these two terms can be factored out at 2xy gives me x squared plus y squared and this is x squared y squared so here is the idea if I call this if I call this a and call this b I get the following a squared plus 2ab plus b squared yay and that is a plus b quantity squared and yay a plus b is x squared plus y squared plus xy so we have to square it that is my numerator this was the n the big n the numerator and we have the denominator not the denominator numerator I don't know why they call it denominator I mean numerator and denominator but anyways so our fraction is gonna look like this I have my numerator on top and of course I do have wait a minute kind of need to um, okay so that wasn't actually my numerator I forgot the two okay there you go it's like this explains it so this should have a two on the outside all of these terms they should have a two outside so this should have a two outside and so totally uh, this should have a two outside all right and then should have a two and should have a two so we'll have a two here this is my numerator and then my denominator is x squared plus y squared plus xy to the second power these two cancel out leaving us with two at the end and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye